Well, I'm here to see a shuttle launch. Can't really see it over there, but there's the countdown clock. Over there's the shuttle. That's what we're gonna watch take off this morning. I'm here with John and John. Let's see a shuttle launch. I heard a beep. This is Tim. I see a light. No, that's okay. I see you. Okay. Is there a light on? Hey, I heard a beep. Was it on before? Uh, it says sure. REC in the top. Okay. Okay. I got REC. All right. Here we go. Gonna watch a launch. <laughs> this is Tim. That's Tim. <laughs> <laughs> that was just I his glasses. A professional videographer to come with me today. <laughs> <laughs> and his he's got years and years of experience. And he the problem was the guy I just filmed did not have Okay, 9 8 7 6 5 4 There it is. There's no going back now, boys. off all the car alarms. <laughs> Hear them? Yeah. Yeah, it's going away from us. See the stinkers? Yeah. Look at the shadow. Isn't that cool? That is cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get a picture of that shadow. There we go. That's a shadow. Okay, now we're going back down now. I'll see if I can get it to where the solids break off. Oh. I think it's going to be in the clouds before the solids break. Twenty-two hundred miles an hour. Let's see if I can get the solids. In two minutes, the solids drop off. Not yet. The solids will drop off at two minutes, but I don't. I think it's going in that cloud bank. At 2.11 is when it, they drop it off. Already... Okay, not yet. <laughs> Up in a cloud bank. Yeah, I'm down it. Didn't see it. Okay. That's all I have she wrote. Look at that cloud. There's the, that's what I got. I got a picture of the cloud. There's the cloud. There's what's left of the launch pad. Judy, if we were sitting out there, we would have had our ears rock. I can't believe all the yellow in that. Yeah. That's the solids. The solids produce the yellow. That's the deposition that you get on the on the FSS. Okay, got That's a great cloud. I love that. You like that cloud? I got I got you top to bottom on the cloud there, Tim. Look at the shadow it's making. And this is the we'll pan around, see all the people. There's the launch control center. Launch control center. VAB. And over here is the VAB. And there's NASA, the flag. There's our buddy Tim. Semi-legitimized, you know. He looks pretty cool, doesn't he, huh? Okay. These are all the people that came out to see it. Okay. Okay, where are we? We are at the zero level. Actually, it's 55 feet above the ground. Uh, we're at the plane trench. Be careful. We're at the plane trench. Um, what we see along the plane trench here is the... Uh, um, bridging the plat bridging the, the, the flame trench, you got the entrance of uh, service track on the EST, which rides on rail, goes all the way down the front down Mom the Hill. That's used to service the main engine, 
when the bird is on the path. So it goes up to the hole and comes back in. These tall structures here are the uh, MLP support posts. Which would be the mobile launch platform. Exactly. Thank you very much. And then next to it, you've got the, the sound suppression risers. You take a picture of each other. <laughs> the sound suppression risers, you've got the black bands around them. Those uh -huh. are actually connected to the bottom of the MLP, and that pumps the water up through the MLP to do the uh, sound suppression. There's, there's a water tank the over there. This is a flame deflector. And what happens, what happens actually, is this water comes out of these nozzles and floods this area. These here actually hook up the spots on the uh, flame deflector. See the corresponding nozzle uh, oh, yeah. pipe structure? That comes over here and connects up to this. And then that feeds the MLP. There's no, those, those, those nozzles up on top of the MLP. Uh -huh. that's in there. I thought you had a water tank. It's all. There's the other launch pad. It's got Endeavor on it right now. That's about as close as we're going to be able to get to it. That'll be the next launch. That launch, that launch pad over there is exactly what we're on right here. This is the one that, that Lannis just blasted off from last week. The one that I got the video on. Just before this, actually. Here we are again at the top of the launch tower. This is as high as we can go. And if we look over there, you can see the VAB. It's a vehicle assembly building where they put process the shuttles and stack them and put them all together. And I just want to give you a shot of the nice view. This is probably the highest point in Florida. <laughs> So here's a better shot of the other launch pad. Down the, the thing. They, you can see it looks like cranes sticking up down there, but it's actually a light detection. That's going to be the new expensive launch vehicle, the ELV pad. Uh -huh. uh, that I think Boeing's putting together right now. That's the, that's the one next to We get to walk up over the edge of a big cliff here. Cool. Just want to show you how high up we are here. This is the 275 feet up the tower. We're almost as high as you can go. Then there's where the deflection shields are for the launch. And if you look over here, you can see how far the grass gets burned when it gets launched. That's the vent that goes on top of the main fuel tank, if you ever see that. Just before liftoff, that thing uh, lifts up and moves out of the way. There's an access thing to it. This is the... Uh, there's the road where the mobile launch platform rolls up to the pad. You can see that goes around over there. And goes back over to the VAB. It's over here. It takes three hours for it to roll out from there. If you swing back over here, you can see there's the uh, visitor center observation tower. So obviously we're a little bit closer than that. So what is this, John? OAA, the orbital accent on. Well, the astronauts get on. So this is this is where the astronauts go when they're going to get on the shuttle. Walk out here, and there's the door. And this thing swings right out, it hooks up to the shuttle. So what do we got here, John? This is the astronaut egress system. And this is used for emergency, and the baskets are not here right now. The baskets are at the bottom of the run, uh, but the slide wire baskets are usually locked up in these positions. And um, when the astronauts have to have an emergency egress, they come over here, they jump in the basket, and they hit the lever, cutting the, uh, the tether, and down it goes. Yeah, so you can see this is the wires that the baskets are on. And they slide down there. That's where they land. Um, there's chains. You can see the chains laying in the sand down there. Those yep. chains are what slow. That's a deceleration. 
the, they drag the chains. It picks the chains up and it drags the chains. <laughs> and then they run into that little bunker right there. Right, down the bunker. And then they got the M113 parked on the other side. They can go crash out the gate over there and go down that road to the blue sign. Way down that little road, and that's where the helicopter would pick them up. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, huh? where, where are they? Fast to the bottom right now. They, they, this, they... this is the big thing that swings out and covers up the back of the shuttle when it's on the launch pad. That's why you can't ever see the shuttle when it's out on the launch pad. Pretty cool little arm. There's a little track down here. <clears throat> this column that it swings on weighs 1,300 pounds per linear foot. Doesn't look that big of a deal. And then when it's uh, swinging out, there's a little track down here. If you put even a penny on it, it'll stop the whole thing. Now John's taking us in the secret catacombs. We get to go underneath the launch pad. Sandy doesn't like her picture taken. <laughs> Okay, John's gonna sneak us over. He's got special permission for us to go over to the other launch pad. So we're gonna get to get a little bit closer to the other shuttle. Pretty cool, eh, John? Yes. <laughs> Love it. I'm not gonna be able to take the video camera up with me, so I decided I'd just video as we drive over right now. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah, pretty killer, man. The reason you can't see much of the shuttle is uh, when it's on the pad, they completely cover it up with protective shields, weather shields. There's even one that slides in between the fuel tanks and the shuttle itself. And now we're on final approach now. Oh, you said you can't see much of the shuttle because it was completely covered up. We're getting pretty close. You can see the external fuel tanks and the solid rocket boost boosters right there. This will be the last thing that I can do before I put the camera away. You can see up there is the launch pad. And right down here we've got the big tractor crawler. This is the thing that goes up underneath the mobile launch platform and rolls it back into the vehicle assembly building. Uh, this thing goes one mile an hour with the shuttle on it and it goes two miles an hour when it's empty it takes three hours for it to roll out from the vehicle assembly building